a robot's attempt to get a sample of the melted fuel at Japan's damaged nuclear reactor is suspended. Dot. Associated Press. An attempt to use an extendable robot to remove a fragment of melted fuel from a wrecked reactor at Japan's tsunami hit Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant was suspended Thursday due to a technical issue. The collection of a tiny sample of the debris inside the Unit 2 reactor's primary containment vessel would start the fuel debris removal phase, the most challenging part of the decades-long decommissi. Awning of the plant where three reactors were destroyed in the March 11, 2011, magnitude 9.0. Below are your comments. What nobody is talking about at all is the constant flow of millions of gallons of radioactive water. That is going into the ocean from the meltdown. It went to the groundwater table and then out to the ocean. Radioactive water was detected off the coast of California years ago and nobody has any idea what th. e long-term effects will be. I guess nobody though to color code the ends? As to how they should be connected. I ran into this same issue on Atomus Submersible I worked on had to connect multiple connectors in. Side a 21 tube I color coded them to allow proper connections as some of the connectors were. A thought. Fuel rods need constant water to cool or they melt down, catch on fire and release radioactive matter. IAL into the atmosphere. Power is needed for the water. One big CME can take down a grid for months. The transformers can be protected from this but are not. Do you see the potential for a massive probal? M if many plants go down? Keep banning chainsaws and gas stoves. 0.1 ounce vs 880 tons, long way to go. This happened 13 plus years ago. Look at the costs and they have done close to nothing. Please subscribe to my channel. And if you like it, please thumbs up.